it takes two to tango and Samsung's latest duo is here to spice up the extremely competitive value flagship segment. Two phones, top of the line specs and just a few differences to segregate them. Can they fend off intense competition from OnePlus, iQ, Oppo, Vivo and most importantly the ever popular Apple iPhone? That's what we are here to find out in the Selguru review of the Samsung Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus. Don't be deceived by the small size of the Samsung Galaxy S22 5G. Samsung's Pocket Rocket is a full-fledged flagship in a compact form factor. The design mirrors that of last year's Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and that's not a bad thing at all. The aluminium mid-frame is wrapped in Gorilla Glass Victus Plus both at the front and back giving it the same premium feel as the Galaxy S22 Ultra. At the front you'll find a 6.1 inch dynamic AMOLED display with 120Hz support. With a peak brightness of 1200 nits, the screen is perfectly visible outdoors and displays excellent contrast levels, making it perfect for watching media. Looking for something a bit bigger, the Galaxy S22 Plus has you covered with a 6.6-inch display that goes even brighter all the way to 1750 nits. Both the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus packs all the bells and whistles you'd expect from a flagship. This includes an IP53 rating for waterproofing as well as stereo speakers to kick the media watching experience up a notch. We found the speakers to be loud, well-balanced with even a hint of bass, perfect for music on the go. The ultrasonic in-display fingerprint readers are also amongst the fastest we have come across and never fail to recognize a fingerprint. Performance is identical on both phones thanks to Qualcomm's latest chipset. Yes, you heard that right, Samsung is finally powering its phones with the latest Snapdragon chipset in India. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 gives you all the grunt you need and the phone easily powers through any and all apps and games that you throw at it. We tried titles like Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact and Battlegrounds Mobile. The Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus both comfortably ran the games without a hitch with the settings cranked to the maximum. We observed that the S22 heated up a bit with long gaming sessions but still remained comfortable to the touch. That all outperformance however doesn't mean bad battery life. In fact, Samsung has done extensive optimization to ensure all they use as part of One UI 4.1 built on Android 12. That however doesn't mean that both phones get the same battery life. Owing to its smaller size, the regular Galaxy S22 has a 3700 mAh battery that we found barely made it through a day with heavy use. In fact, we were looking for a charger by the evening. The S22 does a lot better with a much larger 4500 mAh battery that could comfortably go a full day. Both devices get wireless charging as well. The Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus are similar in more ways than one and this extends to the camera setup. At the back, you will find a 50 megapixel primary camera sensor paired up with 10 megapixel 3S telephoto lens as well as a 12 megapixel ultra wide shooter. Interestingly, the telephoto and ultra wide sensors are exactly the same as on the top of the line S22 Ultra. Coming to the image quality, we came away impressed. The primary camera captures photos with excellent dynamic range. There is ample detail and good lighting. Samsung is going for a saturated look out of the box and colors look vibrant. The telephoto camera offers excellent reach, whereas the ultra wide shooter is capable of the same dynamic range as the primary sensor. The selfie camera impresses too with its 10 megapixel sensor that offers excellent detail across the board. Priced at 72,999 rupees and 84,999 rupees, the Samsung Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus bring you most of the top end experience for a lot less money. The two phones combined are amongst the best Android flagships you can buy right now and set the gold standard for value flagships to follow. But what do they miss out on compared to the third device in Samsung's portfolio? Yes, we are talking about the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. As it turns out, not too much. The materials, displays and even performance are largely similar across the three phones. The S22 Ultra, however, gives you more. Starting off from the Quad HD 6.8-inch screen, the S22 Ultra gives you extra embellishments for the premium experience. The primary camera too gets an upgrade to 108 megapixels. The S22 Ultra also packs a second 10x zoom lens for an even longer range. Similarly, the selfie camera gets a bump from 10 megapixel on the S22 and S22 Plus to 40 megapixel on the Ultra. You will also find a larger 5000 mAh battery. But while all the other additions are certainly nice to have, the real differentiator lies in the S Pen. The S22 Ultra is the bridge between Samsung's S and the much-loved Note series. A slot sits along the bottom left corner to integrate the S Pen that can be used for scribbling, doodling and all your favorite S Pen actions. But is it worth the significantly higher 1,9999 rupees price tag? That's for you to decide.